When the temperature goes up again and the sun gets stronger, then lovers of classic cars open up their barns and bring their treasures out into the fresh air, out for the first drive. I grew up with cars. My father is a master mechanic and always had cars at home. He started with an old Jaguar Mark II and a Mercedes 170. As a child, I always had contact with cars at trade fairs and exhibitions. An Abarth 1000 TCR was always my childhood dream. And so, I already grew up with old cars. They were always part of my life. Florian Engel, 30-year-old classic car enthusiast from the Frankish Wunsiedel near Beirut in Germany, brings a very special classic out of the barn today. The 1973 Toyota Corolla Levan. In 1970, the second version of Corolla appears in Japan. A year later, the newly formed Toyota Vertrieb GmbH offers the Corolla in Germany as well and sells 20,000. A moderate first success for the Japanese auto industry in Germany. The hot version Levan, similar to the GTI under the Corollas, is only available in Japan and the United States. This Florian Engel Levan is probably the only one in Germany, or even Europe. Florian discovered the rare Corolla at an American car forum and persuaded the owner to sell it. The Levan draws a respectable 108 horsepower from a four-cylinder with 1.6 liter displacement and reaches a top speed of 183 kilometers per hour. The line of the Corolla looks strange, yet familiar. A typical small car in European scale. The lines are reminiscent for some of a Ford Escort. Others think of the Opel Cadet. Only a few details are still a little too playful, just typically Japanese. When I go to a meeting with the car, no one recognizes the car as a Toyota. It is also not written on it anywhere, just the old Toyota logo on the front. On the side, it says Corolla. Only then do you see that this is a Toyota. The reactions to the car are normal or very amazed when I tell them what kind of car it is. Many ask me about the car brand. When I say Toyota, then they are amazed that the car exists and that Toyota drew lines like this on a Corolla. The Corolla is made to open up several new markets for Toyota. Perhaps that explains its design language. The rear with the saucy hip swing also lends its shape from American muscle cars, but scaled down. From Corolla, there is a complete model family, saloon, estate, and also sporty coupe, known internally as the TE27. If you look at the TE27, one sees influences from a wide variety of cars, and it is like that with most Japanese cars. The special thing is just this mixture of all possible influences that comes into these cars, and thereby something new has been recreated. Not like the Italians, who have always created their own lines, but rather a combination. The interior, on the other hand, sober, almost spartan. A few sports accessories, the tachometer, lots of plastic with a touch of chrome trim. One could also say it doesn't distract from the driving experience. The advantage of the minimalistic interior, what the car doesn't have, can't go wrong.
One has to be willing to suffer regarding spare parts supply with Japanese classic cars because the supply is bad. In Japan, there are still parts. In America, there's a big market. But in Germany, especially for Toyota, where I now know my way around well, it's difficult to obtain parts if something breaks. Fortunately, with Japanese production series classics like the Corolla Levant, things rarely do go wrong. And so Florian Engel can concentrate on the driving pleasure of the Japanese GTI. Levin means something like lightning, which relates to the performance. With 108 horsepower and a weight of just 850 kilograms, this little Japanese doesn't need to hide itself from the competition. A five-speed unit provides for good acceleration, from zero to 100 in nine seconds. Basic technology in the chassis. A leaf-sprung rigid axle is still quite standard in the 70s in the construction of small cars. Engel's Corolla is retrofitted with contemporary aluminum wheels and wide tires, a trend from Japan and the United States. A gem hides under the hood. The 1.6-liter inline four-cylinder supplied by two twin carburetors has two overhead camshafts along the lines of the former Alpha engines. Motorcycle manufacturer Yamaha supports Toyota in the development of the cylinder head. The sound, quite meaty. Flyrian Engel infected himself with the Toyota virus at an early age. The disease runs in the family, because in 1975, his grandfather founded one of the first Toyota representatives in Germany. Florian's father and uncle, Friedhelm, take over the company in the 80s. In addition to trade, maintenance, and the repair of current Toyota models, Toyota specialist Friedhelm Engel builds up a second income. In his branch operation, he restores classics, notably Toyota oldies. The green Celica is nearing completion, a complete rebuild without compromise for the in-house collection. If defects or replacement part worry plagues, Florian Engel, Toyota, Lumery uncle Friedhelm always knew what to do. The Fichtelgebirge region, with its narrow, windy roads, is the ideal hunting ground for Florian Engel and Levin. The 30-year-old old-timer enthusiast enjoys the trips here with his rare Japanese car. The Toyota fan can be sure of one thing. He is not going to meet another of this kind in the Franconian Fichtelgebirge region.